him catch his breath. Hell if you love the gods. village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. So you know who sent me. Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't you treat this evil light.
Who are you? Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. A voice from within the tree. The powers that protect you, they sense whence you come. of power should draw from it. Why have you come? 
Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what to bring with them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I come the a gill. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, oh, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Ah, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors.
your weapon, young man. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Birch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl, mousy blonde, that's what they call it. Thin as a nail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the old had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. Yes. Yeah. 
Tried to kill her, tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood, extraordinary girl, but you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die, but it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the good <laughs> will die, she will you and some light. That's it, Roach. So fast, Roach.
way to the forest for Brushman yesterday. Sent my youngins to pick mushrooms yesterday. To the woods. I see. Let's go. See a gander at our little stockpile. Show me what you got. See ya. Listening, what do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her. And I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story.
probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. The warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right, what then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Don't know why you're telling me all this. Your relationship with your wife? Your concern, not mine. Ah, a witcher. Should have expected as much. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mother. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. 
What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones, just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Landed right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the corpses. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Have everything? Yes, thank you. 
What you did for me, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Ardle's shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? Went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him, and Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her.
went to the village for the levy, and that one hard back the lunch. Need some armor.
treated the baubles for victuals at the castle. For that, he was cursed. Captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. More did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough skelliger for a lifetime.
Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the Black Ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away.
Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afeard of dying. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a wetcha Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long.
can't I play today, da? We've got to go to the blue red command. In the king's castle. My time yeah. amongst the living Only is but the wake of a... I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Ernest should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes, he was well respected, unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Mm. 
What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Oh. 